Hello everyone, so today is the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Just watching the drivers do their formation laps now. Before it starts, I thought I'd go through my predictions. I'm expecting a Max Verstappen win with Sergio Perez in second, he's starting in third today, and Charles Leclerc finishing the podium. Just watching the formation lap, it's so wet, the track at Imola. So there could be a bit of drama. I mean, there has been for qualifying and the sprint race, but I, yeah, I'm expecting a Red Bull win. They were just so quick on the streets yesterday. And uh, Sergio Perez, by the end of the sprint race, was so close to Charles Leclerc, I couldn't believe it. I just love Crofty's comparison. He's just compared the, uh, <laughs> the F1 race today with the Merseyside derby. And as a Liverpool fan, that's made me very happy. Um, but in this case, I really hope it's the Reds on both sides that are going to win today. Right, we're starting now. Oh, Leclerc's lost a place on the opening. Oh! Oh, poor Carlos Sainz. He's just... I don't even know what happened there. Like, Daniel Ricciardo almost seemed to, like, go on top of him. It was sort of a... A remake of the Imola incident last year between Hamilton and uh, Verstappen. I have no idea what just happened with Ricardo and Signs there. Oh, Signs just seems like he's completely stuck. I don't know. The engine's still running. You've got the red light, but he just can't seem to get out the gravel. No, that's out. Oh, safety car now. <sighs> So, safety car is ending this lap now. We're on lap four after the incident between Ricardo and Sainz. It's Verstappen, Perez, Norris, Leclerc, Madison, Russell, Bottas, Alonso, Vettel, Sonoda, Stroll, Hamilton, Ocon, Gasly, Albon, Latifi, Schumacher, Joe, Ricardo, and Sainz is out. So, the restart's just happened. Max Verstappen's got away very well. Sergio Perez has done well to get away. Though Charles Leclerc does seem to be hunting down Lando Norris. He's getting very close, but that porpoising on the Ferrari is just crazy. The main two drivers that seem to have really done well, actually, out of that whole mad start is Magnussen and Russell. Hamilton just didn't seem to be able to capitalise as much, but, you know, there is a dry line forming now. It's still incredibly slippy though. You can see occasionally some cars around turn three sliding. I'm expecting another safety car, I'm not going to lie, at some point. But for now, Verstappen is dominating this race with Perez in second and then Lando Norris and Leclerc are the ones battling it out for third. Yeah, Alonso's side pod has just decided that it's had enough today and just went whoop on uh, about lap six. So... That's pretty much going to ruin his race. Alonso's pitted now. Let's see what happens when he pits. Ugh, that is so nasty, that side pod damage. Okay, Alonso's out now, so we've got Alonso and Sainz out by lap seven. So Charles Leclerc is hunting and Charles Leclerc is through. Yeah, easy one. So Charles Leclerc is in third place. Some great straight line speed as well, but I just don't think it's as good as the Red Bull. So it'll be interesting to see if he can actually hunt down Perez. He's about three seconds behind at the minute, so he's got a while to go. It's interesting though, because Paul DeResta, one of the commentators for Sky Sports, is suggesting that some of the drivers might want to go on slicks. But just looking at the track, there's the dry line is so minimal that I, I don't understand how any drivers could go on slicks right now Ugh, I, I don't see that happening personally i think it would be a mistake but you know unlike me paul de Resta is an actual former f1 driver so he probably knows more say what he's talking about george russell is hunting down kevin magnuson now pulling out side by side and he's got the room okay so george russell oh kevin magnuson's coming back he's made a mistake george russell oh magnuson's back in front Oh, but Valtteri Bottas is now wanting to have a go. Oh, wow. This is such a great three-way battle. Also, just to note, there's still no DRS. The race director says that the conditions are still too wet and too dangerous for DRS. So the way that the drivers are currently kind of overtaking is by taking an opportunity with the slipstream on the straights. So currently, 
Valtteri Bottas is trying to get past Kevin Magnussen. So Ricardo has just gambled by coming into the pits, we're on lap 17, and he's gone on slicks, he's gone on the medium tyres. So now every single race engineer will be looking at Daniel Ricciardo's performance and seeing whether it's worth pitting for slicks. At the moment, it feels like a lot of drivers are just waiting for another safety car, um, just in case it's not the right decision so they're not wasting a pit stop. But yeah, interesting from Ricardo. He has really nothing to lose saying that he's in 18th place um, and was not gaining at all on Mick Schumacher or Guan Yu Zhou. Sergio Perez has also come into the pits. We're on lap 19 now. He's gone for mediums as well, it looks like. Leclerc looked like he was going to come in or maybe do the opposite of exactly whatever Perez did. So let's see what happens now. Perez and Red Bull have pulled the trigger. George Russell has also come in for slicks, although he was struggling coming out the pit exit really having to fight the car to stay on track oh hamilton's hamilton's come in are oh, in this absolute nightmare for magnuson and bottas it seems and what's happening with but oh apparently there's been contact between espan ocon and lewis hamilton oh my gosh chaos in the pits okay leclerc's coming in as well wow he knew that <laughs> most exciting part of the race was going to happen in the uh, pit stops. My God, Pierre Gasly is like that on the track. Okay, Verstappen's come in, Leclerc's come in. Ooh, bit of a slow one for Leclerc, that pit then, yeah. 3.7 seconds compared to Verstappen's 2.3 seconds. Norris is coming in now. Charles Leclerc's gone ahead of Sergio Perez. Ooh. Okay, yeah, Perez has gone through, yeah. I've just realised as well, as I'm watching um, Charles Leclerc hunt down Sergio Perez, despite the fact that every driver is now on the medium tyres, the FIA race director has still not opened DRS. So there's no DRS, so they're completely relying on the slipstream, which is such an odd decision to make, considering that they're all on slick tyres now. I don't understand why we've not got DRS open. Um, and there's been no indication of DRS opening in the next couple of laps and we're on lap 23, which is so odd. So, yeah, it, I mean, it would definitely add something to the race if DRS was going to be open. So, yeah, I don't understand that decision. It's a bit weird. So on lap 34 out of 63, we finally have DRS enabled, which is great for the racing spectacle because when the drivers have been coming down straight and into turn one they've really been struggling to get past whereas if you had drs enabled down that straight we would have seen a lot more overtakes um so hopefully for the last half of this race we'll see a bit more overtaking action I'll tell you what max verstappen is having such a quiet race we're now on lap 40 and he is 12.3 seconds ahead or Sergio Perez in second, so yeah, it's kind of like a slam dunk win for him almost now. I know I've complained about kind of <laughs> DRS not being open this whole race, but one of the positives of that is that we have seen close racing, which really wasn't possible before 2022, so the new regulations have certainly helped with that. So that is a positive, and it is nice to be able to see that the cars are so close together and not suffering with the dirty air necessarily. So Charles Leclerc is coming into pit lane, we're on lap 50. Interesting choice. I don't know whether he's trying to go for the fastest lap or he's thinking that, oh, I've got 11, no, 13 laps to catch Perez, but I don't know whether he will in 13 laps. Some last minute drama potentially, because Charles Leclerc is within DRS range of Sergio Perez. So this actually may have worked out very well for Ferrari coming into the pits. Oh, Charles Leclerc's gone off, Charles Leclerc's gone off. Oh, he's in the wall. Oh no. Oh, oh he was so close to getting Perez then. Oh, oh, he's lost. Lando Norris has got the position. Lando Norris has got third. Oh my God. Oh, I said bloody last lap drama. I was expecting it because Charles Leclerc was meant to get second. Oh, and he's having to come into the pits now. Oh, this is awful. George Russell, Bottas, we could be looking. Oh, 
we could be looking at Leclerc seventh place now. Oh, he just, I think he just pushed too much trying to get past Perez. Oh my gosh, Charles Leclerc's had an absolute shocker here. He's now in eighth place. Well, there goes my prediction of a blooming second place finish. What a nightmare for Ferrari. Signs out. Oh, he's just been overtaken by Magnussen as well. He's in ninth place. He's literally about to only get two points. Ferrari, what is happening? Fair play to McLaren though, because Lando Norris is going to end up in third at this rate. So, yeah, it's going to be a great day at the office for Red Bull and Lando Norris. Just looking at the order as well. Ricardo's in 18th place. He's in last on the hard tyres. I'm assuming he's had some permanent damage thing because he really shouldn't be in 18th place. He, he was gaining so much when he uh, came in for the slicks, the first car. He's only up 14th, 15th place by the end of that, but came in to go on the hard tyre and is now in 18th place and is not catching up Mick Schumacher. Bottas is catching George Russell. Oh, no. Russell stays ahead, yeah. Potentially, I'm going to suggest that that's that over with. I think Russell will hold on to that fourth position. I mean, Max Verstappen is about to round it off now. He's literally coming into the home straight. He's 16, over 16 seconds ahead of Sergio Perez. Verstappen's won the race. And whether you're a Verstappen fan or not, you've got to admit that that is an incredible race by the Dutchman. And also Sergio Perez, very well done to hold it in second. And only like one little mistake when he was pressured by Charles Leclerc, but otherwise a very good race. And again, Lando Norris, who's coming in now for third place. Great to see. McLaren will be very happy with that. So the finishing order for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix is Max Verstappen first, then Sergio Perez, Lando Norris, George Russell, Valtteri Bottas, Charles Leclerc, Yuki Tsunoda, Sebastian Vettel, Kevin Magnussen, and Lance Stroll. They make up the points finishes. Then it was Alex Albon, Pierre Gasly, Lewis Hamilton, Esteban Ocon. Ocon, I think, did actually finish 11th, but then had the time penalty. Guan Yu Zhou, Nicholas Latifi, Mick Schumacher, and Daniel Ricciardo. And the non-finishers were Fernando Alonso and Carlos Sainz. So let me know in the comments section what you thought of that race. I, yeah, it was, I keep on saying this, but it was an interesting race. I think the first quarter was fairly captivating middle was okay i think the drs should have been turned on earlier and then the end of the race obviously quite exciting with the last lap drama with charles leclerc and the potential for a bottas overtake on george russell but like i said let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and i will speak to you soon Bye.